Welcome back to Polygon Wizard Plays Minecraft. This is episode 9. As you can see, I have a new record in my hands, and I've been very, very busy since last time. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright guys, I'm going to take a break from standing on my bed. I just did it because I thought it was a fun camera angle, basically. But, as you can see, I've got a painting on the wall. I put a few paintings around in the house. That's just one of the small things I've done. As this record in my hand will attest, bam, I now have Stall, my favorite record in Minecraft. So we're going to play here for a while while I talk a little bit to you guys. So I've changed this, I mentioned this last time, I changed it into a dark wood. I kind of like it, it's kind of rustic-y, I don't know. I might switch it out again. May or may not. It just depends on if I get bored doing other stuff and decide to mess with furniture again. First off, though, I just wanted to mention to you guys that I have passed 50 subscribers recently since the last video. So thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoy all the videos I make. I pretty much do these, you know, just for fun. So if anybody else, you know, you guys out there have fun watching them too, that's just icing on the cake. So I'm glad you guys are sub, and I hope you keep watching my stuff. And I hope, you know, I'm going to try to keep making good stuff for you guys. So thank you very much for subbing. And let's move on while Stell plays. Do, 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 do. So yeah, as I mentioned before, I put a few paintings around because I figured it was about time to decorate. Even, you know, with scary paintings like the Wither Boss here. So we're just going to quickly run through the house. I think I remember where most of them were. So we've got a couple paintings here. And I remember it again, putting paintings around can be annoying because you never get the one you want and it's always a weird dimension. And yes, I have not done anything else in here. It's still kind of crappy, but that's all right. I wish there was a way to just put a painting down and then cycle through them all so that you could just put them. So I'm sure there's a mod that does that, but not even in a Minecraft. So that's the top floor. There's the library. We put a painting above the back door here. Karate. <laughs> I don't know why, I just like that one and I left it here. It's not really, I don't know, library-centric, but that's okay. Uh, we got a painting up here, just a few around. Another one of them walking pilgrim -y guys. Whatever that one's supposed to be. Some sort of fruit still life, maybe? Or a desert, or I don't know, something. The small ones are kind of hard to figure out. They could be a, many things, they're a lot more abstract. But yeah, it's the nice thing about my uh, jukebox, is you can hear it through the, about the whole house. So I got a painting over here, some fire in a bowl, or cauldron, or something, I don't know, for a hand. So I believe that one is. Painting here, da da da, we have storage, still as clean as ever, but I've had to uh, make a couple more chests here for dirt and cobble, which I will show you later why that is, but... First, we're going to run out back. Okay. We're not going to run out back. I lied. I just got too much things to show you guys and to do to get interrupted by any creepers or mobs trying to get in the way and ruin the fun. So let's sleep off the night time. And have a full day's work ahead of us. Probably a little too early. Nope. There we go. Alright. Nice and bright for us. Do, 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 do. Down the stairs we go and out the back. So if you remember, last time we were building up here on the cows and stuff. Gave them a nice new home, but I've expanded it, and now we have sheep out here. And we've moved our dog friend over here as well. He's sitting here, he's looking at me right now, but a lot of times he'll be looking at the sheep. So yeah, I've had to change the hay bales, stuff around a little bit. Got a few more cows, got a bunch of sheep. 
all sitting back here. So we added two more pens, basically the size of both of those, just made them two separate ones. Just because eventually I think I might want to do dyed sheep, so I have them separately. And we've got our dog friend here, and we're going to give him a name today. We've got a couple suggestions from you guys, so I will get to that in a minute after I show you around. And I think we're going to build him a little dog house out here as well. We're going to do a little bit of terraform, build him a dog house. Quickly, dog house should be able to be done pretty fast because it's small enough. And in between here we've got a little office and we have another sheep pen on the other side here where the hill kind of moves in an L shape. So I kept the building that way. And then the space in between. Figured if we're doing work up here, we need some storage. We've got a couple of things like crafting bench. These are all empty, but I have put a bit of wheat for when I'm breeding my animals. And I'm going to put wool up here eventually. I just haven't gone and actually sheared them much yet. I figure I'll put some other tools and things up here as well later. But, you know, I just thought it looked kind of cool and nestled back in there. So, and I like the way that the roofs go in kind of a V shape this way. So, as I said, we're going to build our doggy friend up here. A house. I think what I'm going to do is we're going to use some dirt. And we're going to level this out back here to give it a little room so he can have his little dog house right here. But we're going to keep this pond just in case he wants to play in it or, you know might spruce it up a little bit, do a little terraform. I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll get to it. Uh, there's a lot of things I want to get to today, so we're going to come back here. All right, buddy? You'll have a name soon. But first, we're going to do a little bit of a reveal of what else I've been doing. If you watched my UHC uh, Ultra Hardcore videos, you'll know that I had a sore throat during those, and I was sick for about a week afterwards, so I couldn't really record, but I did get a little bit of Minecraft time in. So I got actually quite a bit of work done in here in between the last episode and this one. I just wasn't able to record to uh, show you. <laughs> so what have I done? Oh yes, I have done a lot of work out front. If you've never seen out front before, this might be a little bit... You know, like, what's so special? But, you know, you, there used to be this big hill. So you see this kind of plains hills in the background? There used to be the hill up here, and we had the cows, and we had the sheep cows were gone out last time we moved them but the sheep were still up there and we had some trees up there no more all gone so that's where i got all my dirt and my cobble from because there was a bunch of stone in the middle of it and there was a bunch of dirt as you can imagine so i cleared all of that out and i've started some fields we may or may not you know go in there and plant some more carrots and potatoes they're still kind of growing and then I kind of laid out a few paths, and uh, you know, goes back to my little tree back there, and I planted a couple big trees by the house, so we have a little bit cooler view up here. So it's starting to make things look a little bit pretty on the outside. So where does that go, you may ask? Well, you may remember that I also had some stairs down in my mind that I haven't been to since episode one, but they were still there. I, you know, didn't want to have a hole in the middle of my fields out here, so I covered it over, and I went back there, and I started an actual, like, mine entrance back there, so I can go new directions and stuff, but I also connected it to the old way, so I will quickly show that to you, I think. And I have a couple plans for what I want to do out here. I've got my infinite spring right here for when I started doing these, uh fields back here to put in the different little pools of water so that they would be all hydrated. But I think right here in this corner I want to build maybe a fountain. Maybe I'll build two fountains, on one on either side. I don't know. I kind of doubt it. But I also have decided that since this pond over here is a little bit bigger than this tiny thing on the side of the house, I'm going to get rid of that little dock here and I'm going to put it over here. We'll eventually do some work over on this uh, little lake pond area and have sort of fishing area over there. And we can build kind of a little hut or you know storage shed thing for fishing out over here kind of where this stuff is next to this pond i think it'll fit better than the tiny little pond over here probably still keep the pond as a little feature but it's not gonna have a dock because that docks you know it's small it's a little big for this tiny thing so i'm gonna change that around but if we go down our little gravel path here Kind of fat in the middle, but that's okay. I wanted to look a little random here, you know. See, it's sort of a mine entrance in the side of the hill. It's brand new. Nothing goes there yet. It just kind of goes back into the hill. And then we have old mine. So we go down the stairs. 
and around the corner, and then we go all the way straight back that way. You run into where the original stairs were, kind of at the end of this hallway. We're not going to go there yet, though, because it's kind of boring, and you guys saw it kind of in the first episode, and nothing has really changed since then. So, as you can see, we've got a little bit of grass as well around the base of that tree, just because I had fun putting it there. So, we've got the house. That looks really good with the trees sitting out front. I think we'll, you know, eventually plant some more trees, maybe put some bushes, I think, along, you know, the path here or whatever. Have some actual standing bushes and things around, but not yet. Let's check on our crops again. I wasn't paying attention earlier. Okay, we've got a few carrots and potatoes growing up. Not all of them. Definitely not enough to finish the field. We're going to have to do that in a few uh, different attempts, I think. So I have materials here. I'm going to go build the doghouse. And if we have time, we might come back and start on a fountain. We just see how it goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the doghouse up here. And we're going to put a sign on it at the end to show his name. So he's not going to be in the way, I don't think. So we're just going to get a bunch of dirt here. Fill this in. So yeah, I don't know how much you guys have been watching any of my other content. I hope you watch everything I put up, but, you know, I understand some people are interested in only certain types of videos. Although a small channel like mine, it's kind of like, well, <laughs> most of them are about the same anymore since I'm doing all Minecraft, but... There's a bit of variety, especially with the uh, Ultra Hardcore I did. That was a fun event. If you guys haven't watched that, you should definitely try it out and see. It's basically a multiplayer event where you're just trying to do pure survival in Minecraft and your health does not regenerate, so it makes things a lot more dangerous feeling than what they normally are. I'm not sure how big I want this dog house to be. Ah, stupid grass. <laughs> Messing things up. Could use my shovel, but I'm lazy. I don't want to switch. I don't want this to look too irregular. So, or too regular, I'm sorry. But we also don't want it to look dumb either. Alright, you know what? We are going to dig this out in a minute. What do we got here? One, two, three, four. We can probably fit something, but I think I'm going to have to expand it just a little bit. I don't have that much dirt on me. I have more in the house, but I don't want to go get any. Alright, buddy. Let's try this. Alright, you. Come with me. Yeah, that's right. Follow me up here. Come on. Alright, now sit down over here. We're going to build you a house. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, one, two, three. Probably gonna fill this in and then block it off with something different later. I just kind of want to see what the dimensions look like. Yeah, okay. Change my mind. Can do stairs right off. We are going to use some of the spruce wood pillars, I think. It's kind of a cool look, and it's getting dark out here. What happens if we put upside or yeah, upside down stairs? Mm, no, I don't like that look. And just because 
Actually, might be cool. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm, that's not bad, but I think I'm going to go back to regular blocks. Oh, while I'm at it, I can just put my armor on just in case. You never know what's going to happen around these parts. Oh, well, I'll just lose that block. <laughs> now, I want to keep the same sort of style of stuff going on, so I don't know... This is going to look a little too big for a doghouse or not. But we don't want him to have a crappy home. Yeah. Maybe. Do that, and then we're going to use some of this stuff. Hopefully I have enough, if not I can make some more. Sorry guys, I'm kind of just thinking as I go here. I didn't really plan this out, I figured I'd just mess around as I went. Alright, just so I can... Eh, I'm gonna need that. I've only got a few. There we go. Oh, you know what? I might have to take those out of the uh, thing here because I don't like how that looks. Such is building. Getting a bunch of different ideas as I go. So hopefully this won't take too much longer. Yeah, I like that look. We'll just do that. However, I do not like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a doghouse, right? So we're gonna need tons of room. But what does that do from looking in front? And I doubt he'll ever actually be in here. I gotta be careful with this shovel, man. That's not where I wanted it. <laughs> Alright, I think we've got something started. I might mess with it a little bit more off camera, but what do you guys think? Uh, you know, any suggestions for how to make this doghouse look cooler? 
take this off the side real quick to see what it looks like. Nope, definitely need those there in some capacity. But what if I continue to use whoops as a roof like that? Nah, I like them better upside down. Plus, then this won't connect. Alright, do I have wood and stuff? I do. I probably have some signs up in the house, but... That takes time to leave. And we can always use more signs, right? Alright, so... I've got a few suggestions for the name for this guy. And we don't want to block by our crafting table. And I liked... One, I said I wouldn't do the other, but I'm going to do a little bit of a compromise here because I'm doing a little combination. So the sort of winning one would be Shep. Thank you, MarkX1984, for suggesting it. And I believe also that uh, Mort, Mortimer Krabs, Ashley Morton, whichever name you're going by on whichever username. Anyway, he was going to suggest that name as well because Shep apparently is a nice dog's name. Plus, you know, Shepherd, Sheep, goes with it. I like it, so I'm going to use that as his nickname, sort of. That's what we'd be calling him, like, Hey, Shep, here, boy, you know. But he needs a full name as well, you know. Any important dog needs a big, important-sounding name. So one of my favorite game series, video game series of sort of this kind of generation has been Mass Effect, so Commander Shepard. So this is going to be Commander J. Shepard. So... Any of you fans of Jaxley out there can pretend that the J stands for Jaxley, but really it's just J because anyone who's cool just has an initial, right? We won't tell him that boy. Oh, did we say that out loud? Sorry, we should have used our telepathy. Did you get it? Do you get what I'm thinking? Alright, good job, boy. Good job. <laughs> so, let's put us a sign up here. Commander J. Shepherd. Shep. Named by Mark X1984. Also, Mr. Mr. Hoodless, I believe, is his YouTube name in the comments. I'm not sure, I've, I'm guessing his name was taken, so why he wasn't Mr. Hoodless. He had to do two. And we're going to do... And... Let's see. Jack Slee. Nah, you don't get credit, Jaxley, I'm sorry, because you're not official. <laughs> sorry for the tease out there. Whoops, named by... Since you guys are the winners, I'll put this one. And if you would prefer me to put a different name up there, guys, you can let me know and I'll change out the sign, but that's what it is for now. So, come on, boy, you want to see your new house? Come on. Come on, Shep, let's go. You got a nice new uh, doggy pad here right in front of the sheep, so you can just see here and watch them. I don't know, come over here. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. He obviously is very impressed. <laughs> Where is he going? <laughs> Don't worry, boy. It's not scary. It's just your new house. Your new house with... No growing grass, apparently. Alright. Let's see if we can get you to sit down. Alright, focus on me. Let's go. Come on. Over here. Come on. Yeah. Alright, there you go. I want to get you to sit in front of your house. And... Not... Looking at me. Why don't you turn? I don't remember what governs them turning or not. There you go. Alright, let me do a quick screenshot here. We might use that for our episode thumbnail. So, Alright, so you got a nice new uh, home here, buddy. Let's push you a little bit on the dirt. There you go. 
sit in front of your house and you can stare at the sheep all day. Right? Right. You got some cool torches. I don't know. We might see if we can dress your place up a little bit later, but you know. Yes, that's your name. You know. Just make sure you don't forget it. Oh, you see a sheep got out. Don't worry. It's just a little, uh... See, glitch things. He's not really outside the fence. It's alright, boy. It's alright, Chip. Commander J. Shepard. I'll have to get you a spacesuit. Hmm. Maybe not. However, I could change your uh, collar color if I've got something. We might do that later. Alright, guys. I showed you around a bit. I think that's all we're gonna do. We might, uh, build some of these other things next time. Fountain up here, perhaps. Or... We might work on the fields, might work on some fishing stuff over here. I don't know, we got plenty of things to do now. We might do some more terraforming around the house. Make things look pretty. I don't know. Let me know what you guys would like to see me do next, and maybe I'll do it. Otherwise, I'll just pick my own self, see what I'm in the mood for. See, so I've got a bunch of wheat seeds out here for just in case I wanted to plant some more wheat. But I figured, you know what? This should just be my actual, you know, vegetable crops up here. So we've got our potatoes and our carrots, and if they ever add any more, we could put them. So, you know, if they ever add corn, hint, hint, I think corn will look cool in the game. I could put some melons. I've got pumpkins down here. I could move some up, maybe, but... We've got so much wheat already around this little uh, pond lake area that I don't think I really need to add any more up here, so we'll keep the variety up, and we'll have plenty of potatoes and carrots once this is all full anyway, so... We can have steak and potatoes and all sorts of stuff for eating. I've already got plenty of steak from all the time I've spent with getting leather from the cattle to build up the books, so... Yeah, I figure we'll put some bushes or some other stuff out here to make this look a little pretty so it's not just a lonely giant tree. You know, probably plant another couple trees out here, make this lane look a little bit more interesting, and maybe eventually we'll do something other than gravel. I don't know. You know, maybe not, because it's just a cool ranch out in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't really need anything cooler than gravel. And gravel is pretty cheap as far as pathways go. But, you know, maybe we change it so that the main pathways are made out of something else. And then we just have the small offshoots as gravel. You know, we can do whatever. We can upgrade it over time, too. So this is just what it is right now to lay it out. I'll probably have some more go over to this direction once we start. But yeah, as you can see, all of this through here that I'm running through right now was originally a big hill. And we couldn't do this. So it's very, very much more flat now. So kind of where these torches sort of stop out here, that is where the edge of that hill used to be. And then out here is the beyond where it's dark. And I still go out here and fight mobs every once in a while at night. And I want to get some supplies. So yeah, we're getting a little bit of a cool look out here, guys. And once we get a few more buildings, you know, this place is really shaping up, I think. So I'm finally going to wind down this episode. And, you know, let me know what you want to see next time. Let me know what you think of the new doghouse. Let me know what you think of this hill being gone. And any plans for, you know... A fountain here or anything else you think would go out here that would make the place look awesome, please let me know. But uh, for now, that'll be it for this episode, and we'll see you next time. Bye.